The Earth is an old soul existing for four and a half billion years. Imagine a grain of rice representing all of human history. That grain encompasses all our triumphs and innovations. Now, imagine the entire Earth as the scale. Dinosaurs only occupy a small portion of that time scale. Their reign began around 230 million years ago. Before them, Earth's formation and eons of history unfolded. A tale of fiery beginnings and life's tenacious grip. This journey takes us back to the Hadean and Archean eons, marked by unimaginable heat and volcanic activity. Within this chaos, the seeds of life were sown, organic molecules formed in the primordial soup, atoms in our bodies were forged in long dead stars, Earth slowly began to cool and solidify, oceans of molten rock gave way to continents, today's lush Earth was once a barren landscape, forged in fire shaped by forces we can barely comprehend. From this maelstrom, life emerged, a testament to nature's power. As the fiery chaos of the Hadean Eon subsided, Earth entered the Archean. This eon, spanning four to two and a half billion years ago, saw the first oceans form. Simple, single-celled prokaryotes emerged, marking a pivotal turning point. These pioneers photosynthesized, releasing oxygen and transforming the atmosphere. The great oxidation event paved the way for complex life. The Archean Eon laid the foundation for life's diversity. The Hadean Eon, named after the Greek underworld Hades, conjures images of a hellish molten earth. This period, from four and a half to four billion years ago, was a time of intense heat and volcanic activity. Imagine a planet bombarded by asteroids, its surface a fiery molten sea. The air was thick with noxious gases far from breathable. Yet this upheaval laid the groundwork for Earth. As the planet cooled, a transformation began. The first solid crust formed, paving the way for continents. Early land masses were constantly shifting. They collided and broke apart as the crust evolved. The moon formed from a cataclysmic collision. Bombardment from space shaped Earth's future. Celestial bodies delivered water and essential elements. Water vapor condensed, leading to torrential rains. These rains formed vast oceans. The Hadean Eon remains a period of immense fascination. It provides a glimpse into the tumultuous early days of Earth. From chaos emerged a planet capable of supporting life. Transitioning from the fiery chaos of the Hadean Eon, Earth entered a new phase, the Archean Eon. Spanning from four to two and a half billion years ago, this era witnessed a cooling planet and the emergence of the first life forms. The Archean Earth was still a world vastly different from our own, with an atmosphere devoid of free oxygen and continents still in their infancy. Yet within this alien landscape, life found a foothold. The Archean oceans, warmer and shallower than their modern counterparts, were teeming with chemical compounds essential for life. These compounds, formed through geological processes and delivered by comets, served as the building blocks for the first organisms. While the exact mechanisms remain a subject of scientific debate, evidence suggests that life arose in these primordial waters, marking a pivotal moment in Earth's history. These early life forms were simple, single-celled prokaryotes, lacking a nucleus and other complex cellular structures. Yet they possessed the remarkable ability to replicate and pass on genetic information, laying the foundation for all life that would follow. Among these pioneering organisms were cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae. These microscopic organisms harnessed the power of sunlight to produce energy through photosynthesis. While seemingly insignificant, the emergence of photosynthesis had profound consequences for the planet. This process released oxygen as a byproduct, gradually accumulating in the atmosphere and paving the way for the evolution of oxygen-breathing organisms. The Archean Eon, therefore, witnessed not only the birth of life, but also the first steps towards the oxygen-rich atmosphere we depend on today. As cyanobacteria thrived in the Archean oceans, they left behind more than just oxygen. These microscopic organisms formed layered structures known as stromatolites, some of the earliest visible evidence of life on Earth. These structures, formed by the trapping and binding of sediment by cyanobacteria, grew layer upon layer over time. 
creating dome-shaped mounds that could reach several meters in height. Stromatolites found in ancient rock formations around the world provide us with a glimpse into the early biosphere. They tell a story of a planet slowly being transformed by the activity of microscopic life. The gradual accumulation of oxygen in the atmosphere, a direct result of cyanobacterial photosynthesis, led to what is known as the Great Oxidation Event. This event, occurring around 2.4 billion years ago, marked a dramatic shift in Earth's atmospheric composition. The rise of oxygen had profound consequences for life on Earth. While some organisms adapted to this new oxygen-rich environment, others perished, unable to survive in this now toxic atmosphere. This event marked a turning point in evolution, paving the way for the emergence of more complex oxygen-breathing life forms. The very air we breathe, therefore, is a testament to the transformative power of early life. The Archean Eon, though often overshadowed by the more dramatic events of later eras, was a time of immense significance. It was during this time that life emerged from the primordial soup, laying the groundwork for the incredible biodiversity we see today. The planet itself underwent a dramatic transformation from a hot volcanic world to one with continents, oceans and an oxygen-rich atmosphere, all thanks to the power of microscopic life. Following the Archean came the Proterozoic Eon, spanning from 2.5 billion to 541 million years ago. This eon witnessed significant changes in Earth's geography and the evolution of life. Among these ancient mariners were the stromatolites built by cyanobacteria. Imagine vast, shallow seas, their floors carpeted with these dome-shaped mounds. Cyanobacteria within the stromatolites released oxygen, increasing the Earth's oxygen content. This oxygenation paved the way for the emergence of more complex organisms. The Great Oxidation Event, driven by cyanobacteria, occurred around 2.4 billion years ago, transforming Earth's atmosphere. Oxygen levels rose, presenting challenges and opportunities for early life forms. Anaerobic organisms struggled while others thrived using oxygen for energy. This event paved the way for complex life and biodiversity. The Proterozoic Eon was dominated by microscopic life. Then, something extraordinary happened. Around 541 million years ago, life underwent a dramatic burst of diversification, the Cambrian Explosion. The seas teemed with an astonishing array of creatures, many unlike anything seen before or since. This was a true explosion of life. Organisms with hard shells, exoskeletons and complex body plans emerged. Trilobites with segmented bodies and multifaceted eyes crawled across the seabed. Anomalocaris, a fearsome predator, stalked the waters. These were complex organisms with specialized body parts and sophisticated behaviors. What triggered this remarkable burst of evolution? Scientists are still piecing together the puzzle. The increase in oxygen levels provided the fuel for larger, more complex organisms. The evolution of predation created an evolutionary arms race. Changes in ocean chemistry may have also played a role. The Cambrian explosion was a pivotal moment in the history of life. Many major animal groups, including our own lineage, first appeared. The Cambrian period was a time of immense creativity and innovation. The Cambrian period wasn't just about the emergence of new body plans, it was about the diversification of life into a multitude of ecological niches. The Cambrian seas were becoming increasingly crowded, with creatures competing for food, space and resources. This competition drove further innovation with organisms evolving specialized adaptations to exploit different habitats and lifestyles. Trilobites, for example, diversified into a bewildering array of forms, some with spines for defense, others with shovel-like appendages for burrowing. Some trilobites developed large eyes for hunting in well-lit waters, while others adapted to the darkness of the deep sea lost their eyes altogether. The fossil record from the Cambrian is replete with such examples of adaptation and specialization a testament to the power of natural selection to shape life in response to environmental pressures. The Cambrian seas witnessed the emergence of filter feeders, grazers, scavengers and predators, creating complex food webs and ecosystems. 
coral reefs, those bustling underwater cities began to appear, providing habitats for a diverse array of creatures. The oceans were no longer dominated by simple, single-celled organisms. They were now teeming with complex, multicellular life, interacting in intricate ways. This burgeoning biodiversity wasn't limited to the seafloor. The Cambrian period saw the emergence of the first planktonic animals, tiny creatures that drifted in the water column, feeding on microscopic organisms. These planktonic communities played a crucial role in the marine ecosystem, forming the base of many food chains. The Cambrian period, therefore, witnessed not just the diversification of life on the seabed, but also the colonization of the water column, creating a truly three-dimensional world. While the Cambrian seas were experiencing an unprecedented burst of life, the land masses remained barren and lifeless. The harsh ultraviolet radiation from the sun, unfiltered by an ozone layer, made the terrestrial environment inhospitable for life. However, life was already making tentative steps towards conquering this new frontier. Fossil evidence suggests that microbial communities, perhaps similar to modern-day lichens, began to colonize the edges of continents forming thin biofilms on rocks and sediment. These pioneering organisms played a crucial role in breaking down rock and creating soil, paving the way for the eventual colonization of land by plants and animals. The Cambrian period also saw the emergence of the first animals with adaptations for life on land. These were not the lumbering beasts we might imagine. They were likely small, worm-like creatures that ventured onto land for brief periods, perhaps to escape predators or lay eggs. These early land pioneers faced numerous challenges, including desiccation, temperature extremes, and the lack of structural support provided by water. The colonization of land by life was a gradual process spanning millions of years. The Cambrian period, however, witnessed the first tentative steps in this momentous journey, a journey that would eventually lead to the greening of the continents and the evolution of the incredible diversity of terrestrial life we see today. The stage was set, the groundwork laid, and life, with its remarkable tenacity and adaptability, was poised to conquer a new world. The Ordovician period, spanning from 485 to 443 million years ago, saw a continued explosion of life particularly in the oceans. Life diversified into new forms, occupying new ecological niches. The seas teemed with an abundance of creatures. Cephalopods, intelligent predators, rose to dominance. These ancestors of squid and octopuses had powerful tentacles and sharp beaks. Imagine encountering a giant orthocone up to 10 meters long. The Ordovician was a time of great diversification for marine groups. Brachiopods flourished, their shells littering the seafloor. Crenoids or sea lilies anchored to the seabed, filtering food. Trilobites evolved bizarre spines and protrusions. Plankton diversity and abundance increased dramatically. These tiny organisms fueled the expansion of life. The Ordovician seas were a symphony of life. Life in the Ordovician, for all its abundance and diversity, existed in a delicate balance, vulnerable to the whims of a changing planet. Towards the end of the Ordovician, around 443 million years ago, this balance was shattered by a series of environmental upheavals that led to one of the most severe extinction events in Earth's history, the Ordovician Silurian extinction. Scientists are still piecing together the precise causes of this extinction event, but evidence suggests that a combination of factors played a role. One leading theory points to a period of global cooling possibly triggered by volcanic eruptions that released vast quantities of ash and aerosols into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and leading to a drop in global temperatures. This cooling would have had a devastating impact on marine life, particularly those adapted to warm, shallow waters. As temperatures plummeted, ice sheets expanded across the planet, locking up vast quantities of water and causing sea levels to drop dramatically. This drop in sea level would have drained shallow coastal habitats, eliminating vital breeding grounds and feeding areas for many marine organisms. Furthermore, the changing ocean currents driven by the shifting climate may have disrupted nutrient cycles, further impacting marine ecosystems. The Ordovician Silurian extinction, though not as well known as the later extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, 
was a catastrophic event that reshaped life on Earth. Estimates suggest that as many as 85% of marine species disappeared during this extinction event, a testament to the interconnectedness of life and the vulnerability of ecosystems to rapid environmental change. Section 3, Recovery and Renewal, the Silurian Period. In the aftermath of the Ordovician extinction, life on Earth faced a long and arduous journey to recovery. The Silurian period, spanning from 443 to 419 million years ago, witnessed the gradual repopulation of the oceans and the emergence of new ecosystems. The survivors of the extinction, though diminished in number and diversity, possessed a remarkable resilience, their lineages carrying the torch of life into a new era. The Silurian seas, though still recovering from the extinction, were far from barren. Brachiopods, having weathered the storm relatively unscathed, experienced a resurgence, their shells once again carpeting the seafloor. Crinoids too made a comeback, their feathery forms adding a touch of elegance to the underwater landscape. Fish, though still relatively primitive, began to diversify, their cartilaginous skeletons and streamlined bodies allowing them to navigate the waters with increasing agility. One of the most significant developments of the Silurian was the evolution of jaws in fish. This evolutionary innovation, a pivotal moment in vertebrate history, allowed fish to exploit new food sources and become more effective predators. Jaws, derived from modified gill arches, provided fish with a powerful tool for grasping, crushing and tearing, paving the way for the evolution of the diverse and successful vertebrate lineages we see today. The Silurian period also witnessed the first tentative steps in the colonization of land by plants. These early pioneers, likely resembling mosses and liverworts, faced numerous challenges in their transition to a terrestrial environment, including desiccation, temperature extremes, and the lack of structural support. However, their success in establishing a foothold on land marked a pivotal moment in Earth's history, paving the way for the evolution of forests, grasslands, and the rich tapestry of terrestrial life that would follow. The Devonian period, spanning from 419 to 359 million years ago, is often referred to as the Age of Fishes. Fish diversified and flourished, their fins slicing through ancient seas, scales shimmering in sunlight. From the shallows to the depths, fish of all shapes and sizes thrived. Among them were placoderms, armored fish with bony plates. These formidable creatures were top predators with powerful jaws. Imagine encountering a Dunkleosteus, a 10-meter long placoderm. Alongside placoderms, other fish lineages evolved and diversified. Sharks emerged as swift predators with sharp teeth. Lobe fins with fleshy fins explored new ecological niches. These lobe fins would eventually give rise to the first tetrapods. The Devonian seas were a hotbed of evolutionary experimentation. Fish ruled the waters, adapting to a wide range of environments. The Devonian period set the stage for the vertebrate conquest of land. The Devonian period saw significant evolutionary advances in fish and plant life. However, environmental upheavals led to the late Devonian extinction. This extinction reshaped ecosystems and altered evolution. Causes include volcanic activity, climate change and impact events. The spread of forests may have triggered global cooling. Marine life, especially reef builders and placoderms, was profoundly impacted. Trilobites also faced significant losses. On land, some plant lineages were affected. Despite these challenges, life proved resilient. Survivors inherited the earth, leading to the Carboniferous period. The Devonian was a time of innovation and upheaval. It shaped the world we know today. Our journey through the eons reveals a planet in constant flux, sculpted by volcanic upheavals, shifting continents, and the slow, steady hand of life itself. From the fiery chaos of the Hadean to the oxygen-rich atmosphere of the Proterozoic, from the explosion of life in the Cambrian to the greening of the continents in the Devonian. The dinosaurs' existence was contingent upon billions of years of evolution, the plants they consumed, the land they walked upon, all products of geological and biological transformation. The dinosaurs were part of a grand narrative that began billions of years ago and continues to unfold even now.